Tips Tuesday, and we're going to find out how do you decide between a puppy or an older dog to bring to your family. And joining us today with that place for pets, we've got Joanne Gillard. And thanks for coming today. Good morning. Sounds All right, so people always think, we need a puppy. But you're like, hey, you don't always have to start out with a puppy. No. So first of all, you got to decide, well, what kind of a dog are we going to get? So you need to do some research. You're making a 10, 12, 15 year commitment to this animal. It, it's worth doing some, you know, research and let's face it, our wonderful internet, you can find all sorts of stuff. But, you know, what size dog do you want? Um, how do you feel about hair? Um, oh, okay. You know, like, uh, you know, d some dogs require a lot of grooming. You know, doodles are really popular right now and people think, oh, they don't shed. They may not shed, but they still require grooming. They, their hair will get matted. They still require clipping. Um, how much activity do you want from a dog? Mm. You know, do you want a dog that you want to jog with you? Do you want a dog that you want to just hang out and be a couch potato? <laughs> so all of those things are really important to, to decide. And, you know, do that research, you know, talk to people, ask people. Um, it, uh, you know, have you got small children in your home? Um, you know, do you have elderly parent living with you? I guess the those, space too, like are you in an yes, apartment versus right. a house? Exactly, or a yard exactly. And things like that. A fenced yard. Okay. Yeah, a fenced yard. As you know, we did a session yes, on our did. wonderful yeah, new yeah, fence, yeah. and we love it. Oh my goodness, it was so good. <laughs> but uh, and you don't have to have a fenced yard, but it certainly does make it nicer and easier. Right. Yeah. Um, so, and the dog has to be exercised in, in some way. Uh, so again, have you have you got a way to exercise the dog? Um, a tired dog is a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> also, I mean, I, I think like this, the life expectancy, if you get a bigger dog that's shorter, right? And smaller, in longer general, in general? Yes. So you gotta think it, about it, that. You know, there's exceptions to any, to everything, but yes, mm -hmm. that, that's a great question. And you are, that is correct. Smaller dogs in general tend to live longer. Um, I had a to toy poodle that lived to 16, um, you know, an Aussie, um, that was 14, a lab that was 14. Oh, okay. So, you know, th there's exceptions, but you are correct that mm -hmm. little dogs tend to live longer and bigger dogs. I mean, there are some bigger dogs that literally their life expectancy may be seven, eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. So okay. all of those things you need to consider. The other thing I was thinking to consider, sure, you want to bring this pet in, but there's also cost. Make sure you can afford it because I know many oh, yes. times I've heard that a dog warden say, you know, a dog was surrendered because they couldn't take care of and things like that. Yes. I mean, it's a commitment in many yes. ways. And, and you're correct that um, can you afford the dog? But there are, are also ways that, um, you know, there are low cost spay and neuter clinics. Um, you know, places in our area, such as TSC, have vet clinics that you can get um, vaccinations. And sure, it's best if you can have a regular veterinarian, mm -hmm. but you could still have a pet and do things that are a, a little less expensive in different ways. Mm -hmm. So now we're to your question of, do we get a puppy? or do we get an adult dog? All right, so we've got the beginnings of what we need to think about. We will talk about this next time, yes. about which one do you pick. All right, don't go away. First edition continues in a moment. 